Louise, I wanted to thank you for um, commenting my videos. It's so nice to know that we're not alone, isn't it? And I also wanted to tell you that I have family that live in Ireland. My, my sister lives in County Clare. And um, yeah, I guess the, the farther you get um, from the equator, the more likely you are to have MS. So us people that are fair skinned and really think about it, don't spend a whole lot of time out in the sun because we get burned. And when we were little, our moms kind of slathered us with sunscreen, especially here living in Southern California. And my mom being Irish and light skinned, she'd slather that sunscreen all over and keep me out of the sun and everything. And you know, I think sun's not such a bad thing anymore. Anyway, um, you can tell today's a good day. Like I said, we have good days, we have bad days, and today is a very good day. And um, it's just so good to know that we're not alone. And um, I wanted to thank you so much because you're being able to relate to me. You said it was important to you and it meant something to you. It meant far more to me, believe me, that you got something out of it because I made that a while that I made that video a while back when I was feeling very dark and I let myself go back to that place where and you know what I'm talking about you don't like to go there because it's kind of hard to get out of that funk once you let yourself go there and um, you know ew, I remember what you were saying about your family well I can totally relate to that my family has a very hard time with my MS I'll tell you even my mom who, as I said in my last video, slipped right into my shoes, bless her heart, and she was just, if I could be even a quarter of what my mom is, she's a wonderful woman and a wonderful grandmother and a wonderful mom, but she refuses to acknowledge very much my MS. And I asked her one day, I said, Mom, wh wh why do you sometimes pretend that I don't have it? Is it because I look so good? I mean, you were here when, when I was paralyzed. You're, you were the one that came to the hospital and saw me and saw the doctors. And I mean, you know what was going on with me. She said, I know, but it's just easier for me to kind of um, pretend to myself that you don't have it. Well, you know, that's nice that she can be able to do that. but. I don't have the luxury of pretending I don't have it because I have it. And the point I'm trying to get across to you, Louise, is that we can't expect people to understand fully what we're going through, but we do need some empathy from people, and not sympathy, but just for people to kind of understand what we're going through. And like I said, even the closest person to me, which was my mother, has a hard time accepting my MS. You know, and I think it's because, you know, some days we have, we're good days and some days are bad days. With MS, you just don't know. And I was trying to explain to my family, not two MS people are the same. We all share the fact that we all have, um, you know, scars showing up on our MRIs that we share in common and spinal taps we share in common. But the actual symptoms to try to explain to the family how one person has certain symptoms, another person has another, um, was difficult for me to explain. So the way I explained it in really simple terms is that, you know, you think of a, a, an electrical cord and a little rat nibbling here, a little rat nibbling there, a little rat nibbling there, and um, plug that cord in and see where it um, fires. You know what I mean? It'll, 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 it'll try to make pathways. And that's sort of how I simply tried to explain it. And um, I noticed a lot of my family members, they can't handle it. They, it's not that they don't want to learn about it. It's just that, I mean, we're, we're given tons of information to read and, and, and internet to look up and everything. And it's scary for us. Think about how scary it is for our parents to 
be able to understand it. Um, our husbands walk with us arm in arm. Our spouses, your wives out there, walk arm in arm with you. They, 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 they are the ones that see it and feel it and go through it with you. Um, as far as our children are concerned, sometimes we have to protect them from it. We don't want them to ever think that uh, it could possibly happen to them, even though there could be a possibility that it will. You just don't want them to know that. You want to protect them from that. And I kind of think that that's sort of a matter of control issue because we have so little control over our disease and over our symptoms and things like that. We have very little control over them. And so therefore we want to control as many things as we want in our lives as we can. I mean, I had a hard time at first. I mean, I'm a neat Nick and when things are out of place, I just freaked and I, I just freak out. I just couldn't stand it. It would like send me into a flare up because I stacked up laundry, couldn't handle it because being a stay at home mommy, you know, that, that's, I, that was my job. And I took obviously took it seriously everything that I did I took seriously for my family and um, when I came down with MS I felt very guilty very very guilty as if um, um, my m somehow my kids were being slighted because I have MS my mom didn't you know I had healthy parents I I didn't have to go through what my children are going through and um, I try very hard to protect them from that, to not overly expose them to it. I know that might sound a little funny, but I think that in time, I mean, they see enough. They see me every day. They know when I'm not well. They know when mommy's not feeling well. They understand that, but I don't like to, to, to make them paranoid about it. Like, you know, if you upset, you know, I remember once, my mom saying to my older daughter, if you upset your mother, she might have a, she might have an exacerbation. And I got really upset about it because I didn't want my children to be, I want to live as normal as I can with my kids. It's, it's difficult to do because it's hard to protect them from it. It really is. But I feel that that's my job. I need to protect them from it. And, um, I'm just so glad that you that you could relate to me. It feels so good to not feel alone. A lot of the people that um, I live in kind of a rural area, and there are a few people that have MS. It's kind of hot here. I live in the desert, and um, the heat, I think, when I moved out here, long story short, I moved out here, um, then I got MS. I don't have much time left to tell you this, but um, the, the, the people that uh, have MS around me, I love them. It's just that sometimes they're old and it's really depressing to me. Oh God, that's not nice to say, but it's so true. I look at them and I can't help thinking, oh my gosh, is that my future? And it's probably not. I mean, we've come leaps and bounds in, in our, you know, in the um, medical field and everything. And these are people that have had MS for a long, long time. Some of them are in their late 60s or late 60s one of them and she's still walking I mean she's just I mean she's just great but on the other hand I can't relate to them they're they're old and so um, that's why I've kind of turned to um, to YouTube sort of out of desperation in a way because you are young people and we share something and sometimes you need that we need it and when you said that you cried with me and you laughed with me. Oh, I can't tell you, Louise, how much that meant to me. So thank you so much. I'm almost out of time now, and you can, you can email me anytime. And take care, and God bless. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.